Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. How many people feel free tonight? Let's just give God another clap of offering. Father, we just thank the Lord. We thank you, sir, and we pray that your anointing will never run dry and the Lord will take you even onto higher grounds in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. My mandate is very simple. We have heard what it need, we need to do to take ourselves to a higher ground. We thank God for what we have heard yesterday, what we have heard today. And you will agree with me that there's revelation knowledge. Amen. And because there's revelation knowledge, and because it is time to give of our tithes and offering, that revelation knowledge will work for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. To give is to honor God. Amen. And the Bible says in Proverbs 3, 6, that in all our ways we should acknowledge him and he will direct our path. As you acknowledge the almighty God tonight, he will direct your path. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not fall, you will not fail. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have heard more than we imagined, more than we imagined. And I pray and, and I thank God that everything that we have heard is will not fall to the ground in Jesus' mighty name. As I said, it's time for our Titan offering. If um, I just want to encourage you to just pray upon those tithes and offering. Even as you have heard from the Almighty God today, pray that he will reveal to you those things that you need to do, how you need to acknowledge him, and how he will show forth his glory even in your life. I want you to bring out your checks, meditate, and just write that which the Lord has deposited in your hearts even to this evening oh lord and just address your checks to jesus house dc i don't want you to give as usual don't give what you gave yesterday don't give what you thought what you had purpose when before coming into here let god speak to you concerning that which you should give to him the bible says in malachi 3 he says bring all ye tithes into the storehouse so i want every tither in the house to just rise up even this evening if you are here to give your tithes um, as is our usual practice, we would ask that you rise up, acknowledge God even with your tithe, even as you stand up, just speak to that offering and just ask that the Lord, that he should make you a Daniel of your generation in the mighty name of Jesus, that as you have stood up in obedience to his word, the Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. As you are standing and acknowledging God with your tithe, the Lord will do that for you, that which you have been looking unto him for in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not lack anything good in your life. I want others who are giving of their offering unto the Lord to also join the tithers. Rise up now and just speak to the Lord. Raise your offering offering unto the Lord. Look around you. Be there anyone who doesn't have to give? Ask them. Give them something. No one should live here without giving something unto the Almighty God. We have heard something. It has been deposited into our spirit, O oh Lord, and it will bear fruit in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we want to say thank you. Thank you because we have come to prove you now, even in accordance with your word. And we thank you, Heavenly Father, because we know that not only will you open the windows of heaven upon your children and pour out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it even as we have been empowered by your word this evening heavenly father we pray heavenly father that your children oh lord we will take them to another level of power another level of anointing another level of grace in the mighty name of jesus when we hear of each other it will be good news it will be of what the lord is doing in each of our lives father we thank you. We bless you. We say you are God and there is no other one. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration in Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Let's give the gladness in our heart tonight.
for that, like Dr. Mensah said, he will be here tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock. And of course, he will, um, Reverend George Adibui is going to be here on Thursday. Don't let us forget, Thursday, Reverend, jo Reverend George Adibui is going to be here at 7 o'clock to minister. And our ball is on Saturday. And I believe that the Biazo team, they're still outside waiting for anyone who wants to buy the ticket for the ball. It's $50 for single and $90 for, um, for double, for two people. Amen. And so um, uh, please stop by and please buy um, the ticket. Have you been blessed tonight? Yes. Um, I'm believing in the Lord that this yesterday, those of us who are not here yesterday, you need to get yesterday's thing. Because um, if you listen to what he said yesterday, you have more understanding about what he has shared today. And I believe that the CDs will be available after the service, I hope. And at least I believe that yesterday's one will be available for you so you can get it. And these are messages you listen to over and over and over and over again. Amen? Praise the Lord. Can we rise as we close the service? Amen. Heavenly Father, once again, we thank you. Thank you for the entrance of your word tonight. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus that that which we have had, Lord, we will step out in faith and use it, Amen. even for the furtherance of your kingdom here on earth. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.